Hello everyone and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Have you ever wanted to use your own custom metahuman as a player character using the motion matching system from the game animation sample project but inside your own project? Today I'll show you how to migrate the motion matching system to your own project and add your metahuman to it. So let's go. Open the game animation sample project. Open the blueprints folder. This guy here is the master character. All the retargeted characters are children of this one. So right click, choose asset action and select migrate. As you can see all the necessary content is automatically selected and will be migrated to your project. Now. Find the content folder of your project and hit yes if Unreal asks whether you want to overwrite existing files. Then go to the retargeted characters folder. This guy is already a metahuman, which makes it easier for us to implement our own later. So again, right click, choose asset action and migrate it to the same folder. Now you can open your own project file. But before doing anything here, we need to enable a bunch of plugins to make this work. Go to Edit, Plugins and search for Pose Search. The next one is Motion Trajectory. Then Animation Warping and Motion Warping. After that, enable Animation Locomotion Library. Deformer Graph and Chooser. Before restarting, also enable the MetaHuman Creator and the MetaHuman Core plugin. Now restart Unreal. To test if the migration was successful, let's use the master character first. Right click in the content browser and create a new blueprint class. Choose Game Mode Base and give it a name like gm underscore motion test. In the world settings tab, you'll find the game mode override. Here assign the blueprint class we just created. As the default pawn class, use the master sandbox character. Now hit play. Here you go. The motion matching system works, including audio. Let's check out the MetaHuman character we've just migrated. Go to the Retargeted Characters folder, select the Sandbox MetaHuman and simply assign it as the default pawn class in the World Settings tab. Now the final step is to use your own MetaHuman. To do this, let's quickly assemble one of the default metahumans from the Creator plugin. Okay, go back to the retargeted characters. Because this guy is already a metahuman, all necessary components, nodes and assets are ready to use. All we need to do is bring in our metahuman meshes, grooms and materials. Simple copy and paste. But first, right click on this guy and duplicate it to keep the original untouched. Rename the copy and double click to open it. Then open the blueprint of your own metahuman. Put the windows next to each other so we can easily copy the necessary information. Let's start by selecting the body component. We need to bring over the skeletal mesh and the material. Click on the magnifier glass. That's our copy function. And inside the other window, click the arrow. That's paste. Do the same with the material. And don't worry if the viewport isn't updating. That seems to be a bug. Just close and reopen it to refresh the view. 
The next one is the cloth asset. Select the torso on the left side and reset the material slot. If you copy and paste the cloth mesh, all the materials will automatically be copied as well. Then select the face component. Copy and paste the skeletal mesh. The materials will appear automatically. For the hair component we need to copy all the materials, the groom asset and the groom binding. Do the same for all the groom assets you need. If you don't need a mustache or a beard for example, just clear or reset the assets and materials. In this case we don't need the legs component, which is the pants asset, or the feet component, which is the shoe asset. So go to their details panel and search for visibility. Uncheck it and you are good to go. Compile and save. Now you can assign the blueprint as the default pawn class. Done! Now you are able to bring the motion matching system from the game animation sample project into your own project and use it with your custom metahuman. And that's it for today. I hope you liked this tutorial and it was helpful. Leave a comment if you want more tutorials like this. Cheers!